Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for advanced English learners. Ready? Let's get started. C1 English Story Scott's Cafe Scott had always been the kind of person who craved change and adventure in his life. Despite his successful career as a senior accountant, he found himself yearning for something more fulfilling. One day, he made a life-altering decision. He decided to leave his job, bid farewell to his secure familiar routine and embark on a new journey. Since Scott was a little boy, he had dreamt of owning a cafe and he felt that the time was right to make that dream a reality. The beautiful city of Valencia became his chosen destination. The warm Mediterranean climate and the city's reputation for its love of tasty food made it the perfect place to set up his cafe. With a mix of excitement and apprehension, Scott packed his bags and set off on a new chapter of his life. Upon arrival in Valencia, Scott was captivated by the city's charm. The colourful streets, adorned with lively cafes and bustling markets, welcomed him with open arms. He spent his initial days exploring the local culture, immersing himself in the sights, sounds and flavours that surrounded him. He could speak rusty Spanish, as his grandma was from Barcelona and had always spoken to him in the language and he loved being able to practice his skill again. Eager to bring his dream to life, Scott scoured the city for the perfect location. After several weeks of searching, he stumbled upon an unusual corner plot with large windows that allowed ample natural light to flood in. It was love at first sight. Scott knew that this was the place where his cafe would bloom. With enthusiasm and determination, Scott set about transforming the empty space into a cosy cafe that reflected his vision. It took quite some time as he carefully selected rustic furniture, adorned the walls with local artwork, and designed a menu that celebrated the city's culinary heritage. He wanted his cafe to be a sanctuary where people could come and savour delicious food, enjoy quality coffee and find solace in a welcoming atmosphere. Word of the new cafe spread quickly through the neighbourhood and soon enough people started pouring in. The locals, tourists and expats alike were drawn to the inviting aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the tantalising smells of pastries that wafted through the air. Scott's passion for his craft was evident in every cup of coffee he brewed and every plate he prepared. The cafe became a hub of creativity and connection it was a place where people gathered, sharing stories, laughter and ideas. Scott's warm personality and genuine interest in his customers' experiences created a sense of community that made the cafe feel like a second home to many, including himself. As time went by, Scott's cafe flourished the reputation of his exceptional coffee and delectable dishes spread beyond the neighbourhood, attracting visitors from all over the city. The cafe became a destination, a must-visit spot for coffee lovers and food enthusiasts. Scott's decision to leave his stable job as a senior accountant and follow his passion had paid off in ways he never imagined. 
Yes, of course. Sometimes he felt stressed and missed his life back home. But, on the whole, his days were filled with the joy of doing what he loved, and his heart swelled with gratitude for the customers who embraced his café with open arms. Looking back at his journey, Scott felt a deep sense of fulfilment. He had taken a leap of faith, left the safety of his old life and pursued his dream. The challenges and uncertainties he faced along the way had only made him stronger and more determined. He even considered opening a second café in the city. Scott's Café in Valencia had become more than just a place of business. It was a testament to his courage, resilience and unwavering belief in following his heart. As he stood behind the counter, preparing a cup of coffee for a familiar face, Scott knew that he had found his true calling and that his decision to pursue his passion was the best one he had ever made. Now, let's go through some of the advanced English vocabulary from this story. Ample. Ample. This adjective means more than enough. Embrace. To embrace means to accept something enthusiastically. Pursue. To pursue. We have a story called To Pursue the Dream, which you might enjoy. If you pursue a plan, activity or situation, you try to do it or achieve it, usually over a long period of time. Stable. Stable means firmly fixed or not likely to move or change. Swell. To swell means to become larger and rounder than usual, or to cause an increase in size or amount. Uncertainty. Uncertainty is a situation in which something is not known, or something that is not known or certain. So uncertainty is the opposite of certain. Crave. To crave is to have a very strong feeling of wanting something. For example, you might crave a certain food or a holiday or even a person. Flourish. To flourish is to grow or develop successfully. Your business could flourish. Fulfilling means making you feel happy and satisfied. Heritage. Heritage. In the story, this is relating to the buildings, places and work of art that are considered to have historical importance for a particular area or for all people. So the story talks about the heritage of the city of Valencia. Resilience. Resilience is the ability to be happy and successful again after something difficult, bad or sad has happened to you. Now, to stumble upon, on or across something or someone means to discover something by chance or to meet someone by chance. I stumbled across this cafe. To adorn. To adorn means to enhance the appearance of especially with beautiful objects. So I adorned this chair with some jewels, for example. Apprehension. Apprehension means to worry about the future or a fear that something unpleasant is going to happen. You can feel apprehensive. Aroma. An aroma is a strong, pleasant smell, usually from food or drink. The aroma of the cafe was delicious. Or, we have another adjective coming up, the aroma of the cafe was delectable. Unwavering. Unwavering means never moving or looking away from something. Delectable means looking or tasting extremely good and giving great pleasure. Solace. 
solace. To find solace means to help and comfort when you are feeling sad or worried. You might find solace in reading or cooking or another person. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. See you soon.